Hello and welcome to the 301 Reading for Memory screencast. My name's Ollie Johnson. I'm an Academic Skills Development Advisor at 301 Centre for Student Skills and Development. Over the course of your degree programme, you're likely to be faced by some extensive reading lists, uh, a large demand on your time to get through all the material that you're expected to read. Um, you're going to have a lot to read, you're going to have a lot to remember, a lot to process, and you're going to want to reuse a lot of what you've been reading. This workshop is designed to support you in that process. We're going to explore some established memory techniques and ultimately help you to make the most of your reading time. So just very briefly, a few things that you're going to need to make the most of this screencast. So you're going to need two to three readings uh, that are linked to your course. So that might be some book chapters or some articles, um, items from your reading list. You're also going to need a notepad and a pen. When you see this icon, you can pause the screencast and have a go at the activities involved. So the learning outcomes for this session. On successful completion of this workshop, you'll be able to set reading objectives to help you improve the quality of your reading. You'll be able to apply the preview and review technique to get through a large body of reading more quickly. And you'll be able to manage and organize your reading by applying these two techniques on a regular basis. So to start off with, reading technique one, setting objectives. First of all, there, there are some key questions that you need to start off by asking yourself about the purpose of your reading. So first of all, what's your personal motivation for doing the reading in the first place? Why are you reading the material that you've got? What are you going to use the information for? What's your personal context for reading? So what do you know already? What do you need to know about the topic? And perhaps most importantly, what don't you need to know? This will help you to avoid wasting your time on um, superfluous information. Finally, what's the external context for reading? So who else is going to read the information and why do they need the information? What are you going to be using it for? Uh, is this something that you're going to be representing in your own work, perhaps um, in an essay or an exam context? Next, you'll need to set some reading objectives, set some questions for yourself to get you into a hunt mode when you get around to the reading itself. The process of answering the questions that you set yourself will help you to stay focused and to retain important information from the reading material. It's worth aiming for no more than three questions. Um, this is a, an achievable number. Um, questions that cover both the bigger picture and the detail of what you're reading. So it might be things like what's the overall argument of the paper? What are the main examples given? What's the author's conclusion that's drawn within the article or reading? So to practice the um, reading objectives technique, we're going to just have a quick look at your first piece of reading. So again, it might be a book chapter, it might be a journal article, something, uh, something like that. Write down three questions that you want to take away from it. So try to take no more than five minutes in the process of setting the questions. Once you've got your three questions, have a look at the article, read it for no more than seven minutes and attempt to answer your questions. So over to you. OK, now that you've done the reading, uh, were you able to find your answers? If not, why not? Did you set yourself questions that were too ambitious, too broad, or perhaps you set yourself questions that were too narrow, too specific? It's a technique that you can practice and refine um, every time you read something connected with your course. So we'll move on now to the second reading technique, preview and review. So the preview and review technique 
allows you to focus more clearly on the important parts of your reading by scanning ahead in the text before you read it thoroughly. Preview and Review provides you with a kind of map to follow through your reading. It helps you to retain more information, more focus over the course of an entire article or book chapter. So the steps that you'll need to follow to uh, go through the preview and review technique. Firstly, read any overview material that's available. So it might be uh, an introduction, there might be an abstract, uh, it might be an index or a, context, a contents page. Next, you're going to preview each page for just two seconds. So this is a really quick scan of the page. Um, as you're doing so, think about the reading objectives that you set yourself and look out for the following things. Um, what don't you need to read? Which part is most important? Next, make a note of the important pages to return to. Um, if you're using off prints, you can annotate directly on the text. Otherwise, you might want to uh, use a notepad or perhaps use post-it notes to um, mark a place in the text. Next, set yourself more specific questions to act as clear reading objectives when you, when you come to the reading. Now read the detail. So this is the thorough process of reading. Read it in the order that you need and make notes. Hopefully now you won't need to read the entire book, the entire chapter. You'll be able to go straight to the bits that you need. Now you can stop, you can finish the reading if you've achieved your objectives. If not, take a break, um, preferably overnight. That gives you a chance to process uh, what you've read. If you haven't achieved your objectives, uh, repeat the steps until you meet them. So come back to the reading again. You can go through the, the preview and the review technique again until you meet your reading objectives. OK, so we're going to have a go at practicing the preview and review technique. And you'll need a second piece of reading, uh, preferably something connected with your course, something from a reading list. Um, and try out the preview and review method. So we'll start off by previewing each page of the reading at two seconds per page. Note down the most important pages, the most important sections. Set yourself some reading objectives and finally go through and read the detail, trying to be thorough. And depending on the length of what you're reading, this whole process should probably take no more than about 15 minutes. So it's over to you. OK, now that you've had a go at the preview and review method, did you find that it made it easier to answer your questions, your objectives? If not, why not? Um, perhaps you might want to practice your speed reading, your scanning technique, um, or perhaps you want to practice your note taking technique a bit further. They're both things that you can do um, using our 301 speed reading and note taking screencasts. So to move on now to the final section, organizing your reading. So we'll start off by looking at some of the principles of memory that uh, we can apply to our reading management. So our working memory has been shown by researchers to have a limited capacity. So seven, give or take one or two chunks of information. Now, a chunk might be a single letter, a single number, um, or it could be a whole sentence or even a concept. In order to deal with more information, it helps to organize the information into larger chunks. Familiarity of information leads to uh, something known as fluent processing and that can aid your memory. So information that has been seen recently is processed faster and more easily. Our memory systems work on a basis of associations. So we don't store memories like objects in a filing cabinet. They're entangled. 
So building associations um, connections is an important part of the memory formation process. And finally, memory formation is consolidated by an incubation process, allowing the information to be stored in the long term memory. We're not only creating memories when we're doing the studying itself. Um, it's important to consolidate that information um, overnight. Sleep is an extremely important incub incubation stage. But also in the longer term, um, over, the over the course of weeks and even months. So to improve our recall, we need to review information on a regular basis. That will help to keep the information at the forefront of our minds, to keep it in our active memories. Uh, so ideally, we will be refreshing our memories at intervals of 24 hours uh, within the same day, um, on a weekly basis and on a, on a monthly basis. This will help us to keep reinforcing the associations and to aid our recall in the longer term. So an example of how you might apply that to your reading on your course. So day one, you're making a start. Uh, make a pile or folder of all your reading material. Try and define some reading objectives for the whole pile, the whole reading list. Um, remember to try and keep those objectives to a maximum of three. Now, Preview all of this material at two seconds a page. As you're doing so, make a note of or mark relevant material. Now you can start prioritizing the most important reading sources. Day two, we're gonna look more specifically at each individual item. So take each item individually, use the preview and review technique on each individual item of reading, Make summaries of the detailed information. Then go back over your summaries, review the reading materials. Is there anything that you need to add? Have you missed anything? Is there anything that you can discard? Have you read anything that was superfluous to what you're aiming to find out? Uh, we'll come back to it next week. Um, that's a chance to go back to your reading, go back to your summaries again. Um, you can scan the reading again at two seconds a page. Um, there's probably, hopefully, no need to go back in and read it uh, in great depth again at this stage because you've already gone through that process. Um, now you can edit your summary again. Is there anything that you want to add or is there anything you want to discard? Is there anything that you do need to go and read in depth again? Remember, you'll need to return to your summary again and again. So make sure it's clear and effective. This is gonna be your key document when you come to write your essay or revise for your exams. So to go back over the learning outcomes from this session, um, having practiced these techniques, you should be able to set objectives to help improve the quality of your reading. Uh, you should be able to apply the preview and review technique to get through a large body of reading quicker. And you should be able to manage and organize your reading by applying these techniques on a regular basis, by refreshing your active memory and keeping all the information that you've um, found out through the reading at the forefront of your mind. Some other useful resources uh, from 301. Um, our workshop program includes workshops on speed reading, note taking and academic writing. Uh, we run a series of one to one study skills tutorials with trained tutors who can give you some um, personalized advice on any area of your study skills. Uh, and we have some support available via the Academic Skills Hub, our online portal. So please visit our website and find out what else we've got that might be useful. Thanks a lot for your attention. I uh, hope you found it a useful session and good luck with your reading.